Hello, my creative friends. I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. Recently, Carol from My Carolina Home asked me if I would participate in a card drive she's doing to collect encouragement cards for women in a battered women's shelter. I thought this was a great cause, went along with the Calling All Sisters Encouragement Challenge we do every month. So of course I jumped right in and um, I'm sharing this video with you guys. It's a quick card. I started with a standard card base and I'm using my ink blending tool with some lemon lime twist ink from Stampin' Up. You can use a stamping sponge. I just find the ink blending tool to be a little bit smoother and easier to use. I'm also going to be using uh, one of the masks from the Pattern Party Decorative Masks. This one here kind of reminded me of Lattice. And since I'm gonna be uh, making a floral card, I thought this kind of green lattice work might look pretty in the background. I don't know if I mentioned, but that's post-it note tape I'm using to hold my card and my mask down. Um, and then I'm going back over this with my ink blending tool again. It's the same color. I'm applying uneven pressure. And I did that because I wanted that variation. I just think it adds something really uh, special and pretty when it's not all the same. But sometimes I do want it the same. And if you want that, you just apply the same even pressure all along the stencil. And um, you can go over it several times to kind of get that deeper color. To peel off the post-it note tape, I just peeled it back on itself. And then I'm gonna fold it and use a bone folder to get that nice crisp edge. Next, I'm gonna pull out some stamping mask paper. This is by Inka Dinka Do and a circle um, die cut. The stamp set I'm using is Picture Perfect and I think it might be retired because I couldn't find it um, to link for you guys. But I'm stamping that in, um, Oh, I think that's powder pink. I stamped it on the mask first. This is like post-it note tape that covers the whole thing. Um, but you could also just use a post-it note. And then each of these stamps, these layering stamps, come with that little triangle. So I just lightly used a mechanical pencil and traced the tip of that triangle. And then I'll line it up with each of the stamps to get perfect placement. This is a three-step stamp. So I just started with number one in my lightest color, moved on to number two with a little bit shade darker, and then finally my darkest one in three. And you can see, hopefully, that I'm lining up that little triangle arrow thing with that uh, pencil mark each time. I'll have a link to all of my supplies below or over on my blog if you're not on my blog right now. Um, but I just stamped all those out and then I used my eraser to erase it. Now I'm using my paper snips to cut out the, um, the rows. I cut inside the lines. I want just a little tiny bit of a gap. And this seems to give the best um, crispest, crispest, is that really a word? <laughs> crispest image <laughs> for my leaves. If you have just a little bit of... A, a gap on the sticker, you'll get kind of the really, really close. Otherwise, you end up with a gap between your flower and your leaf, and I don't really like that as much. So here I'm just stamping it in Lemon Lime Twist. That's the same ink that I used for the background. And then I'm pulling in, um, oh, I think this is Emerald Envy. I don't know all of the names. Can you believe that? These are all Stampin' Up! inks and stamps that I'm using today. But I just grabbed another one of those because um, this is a multi-step leaf. I grabbed another one of the leaves. I only used two instead of all three. And I started with my lightest and then went with my darkest. And now I'm pulling in my sentiment. At first I was gonna stamp that flower kind of off to the side and stamp the sentiment over it. But I was afraid it might get a little bit lost with the, um, rose if I use the same pink that's in the rose. So I decided to switch it up and um, stamp it on top. Another thing I could have done is I could have pulled out my basic black and just stamped it um, in basic black so that it would really show up. But I think this turned out really pretty too. I don't always stamp the inside of my cards, but I decided to for this one. 
um, because I am going to be sending it out right away to one of these women. There is more information on how to send it out over on my blog, and I'll link to Carol's blog with all the information. Anyways, the insight says, dream without fear, love without limits. Isn't that a great sentiment? My final steps will be to just add some dimensionals to the back of my die cut. I like to use plenty of dimensionals so that I get a nice even layer, but you don't need this many for it to stick. And then I will tie a little ribbon around the bottom. This is a satin, white satin ribbon from Stampin' Up! that has since been retired. But you know what? I haven't been using ribbon in so long that I stopped buying it. But I've used it twice this week, so it might be time to invest in some new ribbons. <laughs> I do love this one, though, and I will use it until it's all gone. Um, I just tied it in a little knot and then trimmed off the edges. And it was a little bit loose, so I grabbed a glue dot and I just put it underneath the knot to kind of hold it in place. And that's my card for today. If you're not already on my blog, make sure you go over there to get the links to Carol's blog and check out all that she is doing. And please, if you are a card maker, um, I encourage you to make an encouragement card for one of these ladies. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this card, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more from me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.